Over the break, I was really lucky in the sense that I baited France to come over with their apostles and convert over one of my cities to Catholicism. This means it's holy war time. So this is perfect because I was really worried I was just going to have to declare a formal war against Catherine de Medici. Uh, Medici. Am I saying Medici? I'm sick. I think I think Crack Lord's saying that right. So I pretty much have my naval invasion ready to go. These ships have been sleeping for a few turns, and obviously I was able to upgrade to frigates. So I've got three frigates and actually one that's kind of lagging behind because I just upgraded him, as well as a few caravels. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I also actually have a Mamluk that I might send over this way. Um, originally, this Mamluk was, yeah, escorting a new a new settler. Because why not? I mean, I've got the I've got the amenities. Amenities are not a problem in my empire. Um, but back to my point, I didn't want to just declare a formal war against France because, you know, things are kind of tense. Things are really tense. I still do not have the biggest military in the world right now. It's still the Aztecs, and man, I I knew exactly what was going to come since I left. Monty here just to do his thing. I knew that because I didn't take him out in the middle of the game, he was going to be that thorn in my side, like I've been saying this entire series, and he, in fact, is. He still has the biggest military in the world. Now, luckily, I'm actually catching him, and I'm kind of, you know, kind of a threat to him. Uh, I still have my alliance up, or I got up an alliance with, uh, with Gilgamesh, but we have to remember that Monty is also the only other empire in the world that has an alliance with Gilgamesh. So we need to be careful in that sense. But yeah, things are still very, very high. So this is how I was able to bait France. This is what the AI does. They send over these huge armies of apostles, and I let them come over here, and and I intentionally have been saving my faith up so that you know we can convert the city back, but I, I didn't want to use any of my, my own apostles. I didn't want to cause any theological combat. I was like, no, 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 come over here. Come to Aleppo, convert it over, and uh, and now we'll declare war, and you hopefully use our Mamluks to just boom. We are just gonna genocide these these Catholic uh, these Catholic uh, apostles. So that'll be that'll be interesting. That'll be fun. It's it's already pretty dark. We're already starting off in this uh, this episode in a pretty dark way. Uh, I actually have another settler, so I stole this settler away because uh, remember that French settler that was on this island? Yeah, it got it got taken by the barbarians. So I was like, oh, that is that is absolutely perfect. Um, maybe I will send one, do I have three caravels here? Maybe I will send a caravel over to, I actually only have two, we don't need two caravels. Hmm, I don't really have the money right now to purchase another unit, I, de I need this Mamluk for the land support for taking on France. So we'll see, but first of all, let's declare war on Catherine here. I'm sorry, she's, she's been mad at me, she's been mad at me. And here's the even better part, over the break, Russia, I did notice, Russia had declared war on France. And right when I saw that, I was like, boom, we've got to go. We've got to go right now. So uh, here's my holy war, Cassus Belli. Bamo. She's mad. Don't throw that glass at me, girl. What kind of wine is that? I don't know. She's drinking some type of wine. Is she going to drink it? She's not going to drink it. Gandhi has a stick. I mean, that's... <laughs> Actually, don't the Congo have a stick, too? I hope if I'm a civ leader, I have a stick. Oh, oh, he would speak of the devil. Quite literally. Yep, yep. Don't be mad at me. Okay, so I don't need to be super concerned. We have um, Monty, again, my, the biggest threat, though. He might have an alliance with Gilgamesh, but he is at war currently with Russia. So that's good. He was at war with India not too long ago, but I guess he must have pieced out there. Um, here, do I have any? I need to keep these Mamluks back at home so that I can sweep up the apostles. What I might do instead, then is, uh, here, why don't you guys come with us? Yeah, why don't you guys go over there? So let's do that. And let's try our best to, uh, to sweep these, sweep these dudes up. So I want to go after the fresh ones. I can't, I can't go two, two moves. Or can I go two moves? I might be able to the, with the Mamluks if it's in open terrain. Um, I don't even know if I can steal one away. I want to make sure that we... I want to block them from my, running away. That's, like, my most important thing. Okay, well, never mind. We'll come this way. And I'll wait. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait. Uh, I've got an apostle. We've been trying to make... Uh, I've been trying to launch my, my theological war, I guess. Theoretically. I've been starting a theological war on the other landmass. Building a holy site in Homs here. And um, I've been slowly sending over apostles. I, I pretty much have a stronghold still over my own continent, so that's good. Uh, I also finally settled Baghdad. And we sent my, my scout to go and discover things that were taking place over here. So anyways, that is kind of a fill. I mean, nothing really too much until now this war has started. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to unescort you. I'm a little bit concerned. I know for a fact that there are barbarians here. We need to be we need to be somewhat careful. We need to be pretty pretty careful. And then you're gonna come off this way. Okay, so let's launch our invasion. I've already moved you, but we can begin to attack this city. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So luckily, uh, I've been noticing that France is pretty low on this list. Yeah, Russia's doing some damage. Uh, she was 400. She was at 400 military strength, which was, which was still pretty low. Now she's even lower. We shouldn't see much in terms of uh, of of any sort of uh, retaliation. I guess is the right word. Something like that. I, it's kind of the right word. Uh, I'm gonna actually anticipate that. Yeah, let's go ahead and send a caravel over there. Try to protect them. We only we we had three caravels anyways. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to make this attack just yet. We will set you guys up for the next one, and then let's wait. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this scout's job is uh, pretty much just to determine what the heck is going on, so I don't have to just send my uh, apostles in blindly. Kind of would like to not do that. And uh, I'm converting over these Indian cities just, just to be careful, just to, you know, make sure that we're we're good. Uh, Arabia has declared war. Yes, I did. I did just declare war on Catherine de' Medici. So how much damage can you do? Ooh. That was quite a bit of damage. Uh, I mean, not terrible. You can probably afford to take one to two. Ooh, okay, you just announced me. Dude, I'm going to war with the same chick you are. Why, what, what's up with that? Ooh, I like, the, I, like, I like the hands, though. He's looking real angry. You can tell he's thinking. Russia seems like one of those types of guys that can, like, spin the pen. Like, do that amazing pin, sp pin, pen spinning. You know what I'm talking about? Pencils. I, I probably sound like I'm on some sort of drugs for sure. Like that, that's not even a joke. Like, I, I don't, I don't know how to explain what I was thinking there. But he, he looks like he has the type of hands that, talented hands. <laughs> oh my God! What, what, what the hell are you talking about, Drew? Okay, so we need to do a lot more damage here. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is not as much damage as I would like. Uh, you know, the siege tower will help. But that's going to take a while to get there. How far away from you? Uh, you're you're a ways away. You are definitely quite far away. I mean, luckily I can kind of alternate between these frigates. You know, I could always maybe settle pretty close to France. That way we have a, a, a point of like a kind of a base to come and heal. Instead of having to go all the way back. I mean, Homs isn't even that far away. So I don't, I don't need to be too concerned with that. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It is going to be a grind. I also did get a bombard unit. But, yeah, he's he's kind of far away. Okay, so, no, no, no. I have, uh... Yeah, you guys aren't going anywhere. Okay, so you're dead. You're dead. I'm going to chase the rest of you guys down. Luckily, I have open borders with Samaria, so I will be able to run into his territory. And I've activated my other Mamluks so that we can kill all of these guys. All these guys at once. Also, I think it's about time that we get up our own apostles, start converting things back over. I'm just so glad I was able to get at least because the the holy war Cassus Belli is only a moderate penalty, whereas a former war would have been a heavy penalty. And and I did just go into the next era, so that could have been a pretty big problem there. Okay, I'm gonna wait for another apostle before I do anything else. Uh, we would be taking quite a bit of damage if I attack, so we should not. We should not. I don't know if we're ready for this. I don't know if we're entirely ready to go to war with France. We might have to back up for a little bit. I mean, as long as I don't lose any units, I'll be fine. My empire was not geared for a naval invasion. That is for sure. I will admit that. We were... I never intended to, uh, to fight a war like this. So, it might take us a little bit of time. It might take us a few turns, I guess. 14 health. It's one thing to I mean, when the Mamluk gets here... I think that's going to help us out a lot, especially if there's no units. Uh, I'm going to take a risk and actually say that we're going to be okay with this guy. I mean, he's injured. Do you have a promotion yet? You do have a promotion. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so hopefully we can continue to do that. Combat strength versus naval units. Combat strength versus district defense. Versus district defense. Defenses. Um, I, you know, are, would this count? Would this? I don't know. Let's, let's do it. Let's just see what happens. And then bam. Okay, maybe we will be okay. I don't know. It'll be close. It'll be close. Oh, so, okay, so you uh, you protect him. You protect him. I've got my apostle coming that way. So I did originally convert over 
to a French, French city, the French cities. Uh, and then she, yeah, she was going to start to convert them back. But I, but yeah, I declared war and, and yeah. So that, that city starting off Islam. If we, if we take it. Okay. So, um, for the most part inside, inside of my like core four cities, I'm pretty happy with the district, um, composition that we've been doing. You know, as Arabia, we always want to try to build as many campuses as possible. But as you can see, culture-wise, I am super lacking. I'm super lacking. So I felt like I've done the right amount of campus and cultures for the most part for a start like this with only four core big cities. Um, obviously, I don't have theater districts in every single city of my four core cities. I mean, and I don't have campus districts. Uh, and then, of course, we want we want a, a religious victory. So I, I want to build holy sites. My capital is really the only thing that has all the things that I, I really need. We don't need an arena for now. Um, I have been kind of skipping out on some of these wonders because we, I don't really see why we would need them. I'm going to go with an armory for now and then maybe work my military just to keep it, just to keep it high up there. It's mosque time, but actually, no, we don't even need to, yeah, bam, zero. It, it cost me zero faith to get the mosque in there. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase an, an apostle. I'm going to purchase an apostle from Damascus. And I'm actually going to send this one here towards Russia. Because I think we're going to stop France. Hopefully through war. Hopefully through war. Another thing, another good thing that I need to keep in mind, I guess that everyone needs to keep in mind, is that encampments provide housing. Encampments and the buildings inside them eventually provide some housing. So uh, that's really kind of important to remember. It's not a lot of housing, but it's a little bit. It's enough. This also might not be a terrible time for me to build our theater district, but let's go with barracks for now. And then I'll build a theater district soon enough. Okay, so uh, some people have peaced out. Looks like, oh, Peter and France have pe peaced out. That's too bad. And Montezuma, whoa, everyone's just peaced out. That's not good. That kind of concerns me a little bit. Why is everyone peacing out for? Uh, all my faith has been used and um, promotion time for my apostle. These suck. These suck. Okay, well, let's just, if you if you die, then yeah, that's, we'll try to, we'll try not to make that as devastating. Okay, and uh, I might send one of my builders to the new city here, Homs, because that's that's actually going to be a great city. We got that city off the ground and running really quickly, but let me see if I can't make a quick stop by Mecca and improve a tile. Yes, there actually is. Okay, so I'm going to make sure we quickly stop right here. There we go. Uh, oh, I didn't, did I not attack with everybody yet? That was kind of scary. I might have almost missed that. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll kill a few more, and uh, we'll chase you down. This is great. This is so fun. Just chasing these guys down, killing them one by one. Oh, is Egypt at war? I did not see that. I did not see that notification. Yes, Egypt is going after Gilgamesh. Well, at least it distracts those two. Although in the long run, Cleopatra grabbing the Sumerian capital could be very, very dangerous for us. I kind of want to see if I get any vision. I want to make sure we've kill, killed all of those... Uh, apostles. There's one more. I want to chase him down, but I don't know how viable that's going to be. Okay, well, I don't really see many barbarian boat boats. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Let's go a little bit further. Yeah, I, there's a few other cities I can convert over. Hopefully we don't see much of a French naval force inside of this other continent as well. So I kind of want to settle near the Galapagos Islands. I don't know why the AI never settled by the Galapagos Islands. Obviously, pretty big mistake there. And uh, you know what? Now that oh oh that scared me a little bit. I was <laughs> I'm be honest. I was a little little freaked out. First he was he was hopping around, and I was like I don't know what you're about to do. He was getting ready to just hop right right on me, I guess. Okay, so yeah, we need to be careful. We need to be extremely careful. So I was hoping like next. To, oh, of course, there is a barbarian encampment. Well, let's get a good vision on what's taking place around here. Get a good vision. I mean, we don't absolutely need these cities. It's not a huge deal if, you know, something really bad happens, but we'll see. I'm also trying to build as many, yeah, culture buildings because my culture is so bad. It's, it's not good. Yeah, it's not, it's not going so well. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to anticipate the fact that we might have this city by soon enough. By soon enough. That's all I'm going to say. By soon enough. Yeah, because these walls are about to be destroyed completely when our caravel starts to attack that will be helpful too so now we're starting to take off the health of the city itself that's yeah this is good 
So we should have it, I think. I was concerned for a little bit there. I was definitely concerned for a little bit. Damascus needs help. Damascus, it's not a... Yeah, Damascus is going to need some more tiles improved. Actually, you know what? No, I don't think so. It's actually uh, Aleppo that might need it. You're working some rainforest tiles. Hmm. Maybe we'll send more... No, that's too many builders. Here, I will improve this because I know that you'll eventually grow. So that's... That sounds like a good idea to me. And then you guys get out over here. Make sure that India... We got to make sure that Hinduism does not come back. Okay. Or anything crazy like that. I don't think it can. It's been gone for too long. But but we'll see. And then there we go. We'll take that there. How many builders do I have? I think I might have way too many builders. It looks like. Uh, I'm going to chase down... I will chase down that final apostle. I will do that. Don't... Yeah, you better believe me. I will. Get promotion time. Okay, I've been getting some terrible, terrible promotions with my apostles. I don't know what's going on with that. They've been really, really bad, though. So that kind of sucks. I might send... I might send some of these Mamluks still over towards France's continent. Just to kind of see what's going on. Okay, so here's Egypt. I'm glad that we went up here and just... Just to make sure, because, you know... Uh, the Catholics could have e easily converted that region without me even noticing, and that could have been, you know, depending on who loses the city or not during, you know, a few wars, that could have been pretty bad. Uh, okay, so I am actually going to improve some of these tiles, even though some of them were not working yet, because we might as well. Okay, so you're still fine. You, uh, you really want your spy back. That's a terrible deal. What are you talking? Get out of here. Get out of here. I thought we were we're still not cool, Cleopatra. Okay, you you called me worse than what did you say? I was worse than Brutus or something. You said something like that. Hey, what happened here? Some random building on fire. That's not good. I also have a spy in uh, Saint Petersburg, by the way, which is really important, so that I can catch up in something in terms of like culture or something like that. I'm gonna be careful because there's two scouts. Yeah, we we're gonna need to be very very careful. All right, so let's see if I can take the city over now. Um, let's see here. Can I reach the city? I can't even. I can't attack it yet. Okay, this is what I think I'm gonna do. I, I'm gonna take this range attack from this other city. I'm gonna take a risk because I want to take the city really bad right now. Scoot this guy. Scoot this little guy over. There you go. Good job, little buddy. Nope, it doesn't look like we can take it over now. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, there's certainly going to be a lot of distractions for you, though. Oh, can I? No. Okay, well, it was, it was a nice try. I don't like that it always, like, the... Sometimes the graphics don't show me that I can attack. I really dislike that. Looks like we're going to be taking our French city, our first French city, in the next one. Um, you know, here, this... I also really need to make sure I improve this hill for us. That's a good tile. And then, yeah, I'll put a farm down here. We still need to make it to that other city, too. That's important. And, uh, yes, come over here. Good. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. Okay, I'm glad. We, we are off to a, a much... We are in a pretty good position. Obviously, a, a very good position. And I'm, and I'm changing. I'm exploring. I'm changing. Yeah, I'm changing. But I'm, I'm exploring lands and things like that. Uh, really excited to see the results of this war. I think this is how we can get to a smooth religious victory by continuing to go to war, hopefully taking out France completely, maybe going after Russia even, and then all along kind of spreading Islam as well. But anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.